Business groups are generally satisfied with President Duterte's first State of the Nation address. They feel more positive about the economy's future after hearing the President's speech. Positive, optimistic, clearly a number of the agreements we had in Davao uh, with the business sector um, were included or mentioned in the speech. The Makati Business Club closely monitored President Duterte's SONA on CNN Philippines. Executive Director Peter Perfecto says he did not expect President Duterte to be that comprehensive. During the campaign, businessmen had jitters about a Duterte presidency as he seemed to lack a vision for the economy. But now, Perfecto says, President Duterte responded to more issues than former President Aquino. In this zone, we heard a number, much more of our priorities than in the past. Perfecto lauds the president's plans to cut red tape and reduce taxes. But businessmen say the president should have specified by how much he wants to slash personal and corporate income taxes. The Makati Business Club recommends a tax cut of 20 to 25 percent, as this is in line with other ASEAN neighbors. They also wish the president discuss his plans for addressing the power crisis. You may have wanted to understand better what will be the agenda or the roadmap to address um, our energy situation. The Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry says Duterte Nomics is now clearer. Chairman Emeritus Donald D. believes the president is sincere about making things happen. D. also welcomes the president's aim to balance industrialization and climate change. We are all in agreement. Climate change is a commitment that we all understand. But it cannot be at the expense of our economic growth. Both businessmen say it's too early to compare the president to his predecessors when it comes to economic policies. While they are optimistic, they are keeping an eye on President Duterte's next moves. Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines.